Hi guys, thanks for clicking on the video today. My name is Elliot Forbes and this is episode 24 of Men's Grooming Weekly. If this is the first time watching any of my videos, this channel is dedicated to hair, beard and grooming tips for the modern man. And also now it turns out it's turned into a bit of a shaving ASMR channel as well. So if that's some things you're potentially interested in, please consider subscribing. So the show is split up into three parts. First off, we'll be starting with my favorite product of the week. Then we'll be talking about my hair icon. And this week, it's Alex Turner. And then we'll be finishing off with an Elliot Answers question. But first off, we'll be starting with my favorite TikTok from the last seven days. The common question I get is, what's the worst part about being a barber? And without a doubt, having someone's hair splinters stuck in your thumb is the worst thing ever. And yeah, to be honest, that's one of the worst things as a barber that you can get, having all the hair splinters in your hands, in your feet. The feet, for me, is probably the worst place to get them. I tend to get them in there all the time. I never wear proper socks, I always wear ankle socks. And having those splinters in my feet, it's, it's pretty disgusting. So we'll, we'll try and forget about that. But on to the first part of the show. And this week's product of the week is the VO5 Matte Styling Paste. Now this is a great product if you're after something that's on the fairly cheap side. I think if you get it in a supermarket, it's around three or four pounds. I've always found this really versatile. You put it into your hand, you squirt it out of the tube, it comes out really quite creamy, but then very quickly turns into a paste. It's easy to apply through the hair, but then it dries down and gets really quite a matte look. You get some real separation in through the hair, but it doesn't get greasy, it doesn't get heavy. And also it doesn't dry out too much so that it looks too matte. It's water-based, so it's super easy to wash out. But obviously as it is on the cheap side it's going to have cheaper ingredients so it's not necessarily the best type of product to have in your hair but something that works great if you've got thick hair and you want to get some texture you can either use a small amount to give it a little bit of texture a little bit of body or you can use more of it to get more of a groomed look with it this is my favorite cheap product and this week's hair icon is probably one of my favorite musicians my favorite band arctic monkeys and it's alex turner in it five is this longer length look really textured really grungy it's got a real feminine feel to it but i think it goes well with sort of alex's softer personality in number four is this classic arctic monkeys indie look i think me, my friends, everyone in our generation all had this type of haircut at one time. Looking back at it now, it hasn't aged amazingly well, but of the time, it was absolutely amazing. Everybody had it. It was very iconic and real cool look. In at number three is this real loose teddy boy look, something a bit more grown out. So it's got all of that weight at the front to fall down, really textured, really disheveled, real dirty, real grimy feel to it. It's got a real sort of musician look to it. In at number two is this real groomed elephant trunk look. I think there was times when he had it super short on the sides with this that it was looked a little bit too extreme, but the length he's got on the sides through here, I think it works it's great. And this is my favorite look on Alex. I love how he's got that real volume in there. It's really bouncy, really big, but also really grungy, really sort of rock star style-esque as well with it. Teaming it with the goatee and I think it just looks great on him. And today's question is, my hair always seems to sit flat. How do I get some volume in there? What you'll probably notice is as your hair sits in its natural state, it'll sort of sit with the grain. That's then where it will sit very flat. If you were then to push it against the grain, that's then where you would get some volume. That's where it would stand up. So basically what you need to do to get some volume in the hair is actually to buckle the root. Try to focus on right at the very bottom of the hair rather than on the top of it or on the ends of it. So when you're blow drying the hair, either really get your fingers deep down into the root to try and push some volume up there or get the brush, really hook that in and try and lift it from the bottom. Another thing to be able to help it is another thing to help with it is to when you're getting your hair cut to make sure that it's point cut. The shorter hairs then push the longer hairs to help them get some volume in there as well. When you're blow drying it, make sure you use a pre-styler, so something like a sea salt spray or a grooming cream that's going to help give body to the hair and help then lift the texture up so hopefully that helps okay guys so today this is monday the 17th i actually hit 100,000 followers on tiktok so right now when you're watching this it's probably going to be a little bit more than that but i'm planning to do a giveaway what would you like to see in the prizes at the moment i'm thinking about a shaving brush some shaving cream a little bit of a kit maybe a hair a free haircut if there's anything that you'd like to see in there please feel free to get in touch and if you have any questions at all and you want to be featured on the show in the Elliot Answers, feel free to drop a comment down below and I'll help you out with that. Thanks a lot for watching today, guys. I hope you have a brilliant day. Much love, Elliot.